What's going on there folks? Good evening. It's your Earthmaster here on this beautiful Sunday, June 19th, 2022 date, uh, Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. And what do we got going on out here along the earthquake world today? It looks like quite a bit of activity ramping up here around Taiwan. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here on the USGS map. Just looking at the tremor count tonight along the Cascadia, and that's quiet. Nothing going on there. All right, looking at the USGS map here as we pull up the latest data. Looks like a 6.0 earthquake striking off the coast, or actually inland here on Taiwan, Taiwan area. 10 kilometer depth for that earthquake. Uh, it was quickly followed up by a aftershock, a 5.2 earthquake here within the same area. This whole region has seen quite a bit of swarming activity up and down the board. A lot of deeper movement here into the uh, East China Sea as well. Uh, although this activity pretty shallow. Look at that. A couple fives and some fours kicking off there uh, at very shallow depths. So quite a bit of stress built up in this region here. Uh, this uh, eastern part of the East China Sea. Uh, some of the deeper activity was noted well up north. It also looks like we're seeing a little bit of some deeper movement into the Japan Trench here. See these two earthquakes uh, somewhat close here to the Japan Trench. And looking over here in this part of Japan, uh, some pretty shallow earthquakes there. Seen a couple, uh, well, 5.1 and a 4.9 kick up here. Pretty shallow earthquake activity within this region this 4.9 came in oh it was about a uh, little bit after the six pointer uh that struck there into the uh struck into the uh, taiwan area i was just looking at the timestamps here 6.0 and then we've seen that uh 4.9 kick up so again, a lot of dynamic pressure here in this area. A lot of times when we see the deeper movement, uh, which we kind of have seen over the last oh, couple months or so, when you talk about some deep activity, uh, this area has seen it. So now it looks like we're starting to see some pretty good buildup of pressure at the surface levels, uh, which is creating some of these larger quakes in this area up and down the board. Uh, the Kuro Kamchaka Trench, though, got, uh, eh, close to it uh looks like a couple fours within the area including a 5.0 uh near the russia area at least that's what the usgs is stating here as uh, far as the northern part of the kuro kamchaka trench it looks pretty quiet that's about the only area that really uh, well there's a couple different areas that i'm really worried about uh, but this area right here has been um as far as large-scale movement, we have not seen a whole lot here along this Kuro Kamchaka Trench. Uh, the Japan Trench has seen a six-pointer or so within the last couple months. But of course, there's still always a possibility of seeing something much larger in the region. There's a lot of slip, uh, high accumulated slip rate in this area. And uh, something to watch pretty closely with this ongoing movement over here along the Western Pacific and along the Philippine Plate here, Northwestern section of the Philippine Plate. Uh, West Coast activity, what do we got here? Not too much in terms of 2.5 and above. Um, looking at the all magnitudes map here, got a little earthquake activity here that kicked off um, late last night. Uh, actually, this is from uh, earlier this morning, it looks like. About 27 kilometers deep for a 2.9 and some activity as well. Prior to that, uh, within the uh, Blanco Fracture Zone out here along the uh, Pacific area. Getting a little cluster of quakes into the Eureka area. Uh, the majority of these look like they're, um, at least these two are pretty deep. We've got one shallow earthquake here with a 1.9. It's very, uh, very shallow earthquake activity. These other two look like they're down dip into the Cascadia subduction zone itself. I'm watching this area pretty closely. Uh, following that swarm of activity that we've seen here a couple days ago along the Blanco Fracture Zone. Uh, what do we got? California, the rest of California here. Some movement up and down uh, the San Andreas Fault, it looks like. No major swarms to report here. Just a couple earthquakes. Well, a few earthquakes. Very typical day in the earthquake department here in California. Uh, movement around Nevada as well. 
Uh, Texas, let's go ahead and zoom into Texas here. Check this out. Woo! Texas, earthquake country. Got about nine earthquakes or so kicking up here around this area. Uh, about 20, 30 miles or so west of Pecos, Texas. And of course, there's quite a bit, uh, at least here within this area, uh, quite a bit of older and some newer um, fracking. Well, I don't know if they're fracking or oil pumping operations out here. You can see all these little ponds and whatnot, injection wastewater uh, operations here. That's where all this earthquake activity is kind of taking place there today. And uh, quite a few twos kicking up in a little swarm within that region. New Madrid zone looks pretty quiet. We've got one earthquake here that kicked off uh, late last night, a 2.2 in the Kentucky area. Puerto Rico area has been uh, kind of dying off in terms of movement. Only uh, got about 14 earthquakes or so within this area of Puerto Rico. Uh, South America region. Looks like a little bit of fours kicking up here, including a 4.8 within the last, uh, looks like the last couple hours or so. Uh, that's 117 kilometer deep, 4.8 into the Perucelli Trench. So a little bit of movement kicking up there into the South America region. Hawaii not showing anything here in the red circles. So this is all kind of older earthquake activity. Got one odd, oddball earthquake way off here off the western coast uh, looks like a 2.7 at about 14 kilometers most of the activity confined to the southeastern region of the big island and uh, some activity it looks like around the Tonga region although this activity was prior uh, to the movement up here to the north so Looks like for now, we definitely need to watch this area. Uh, Six-pointer, that's a pretty large earthquake, but uh, I don't think it's efficient enough to release uh, what's been built up there for a while. Uh, one earthquake out here around this region of the world. Uh, looks like a 4.6 at 12 kilometers here. We have been seeing a little swarming activity off the coast of Iran that has come to a stop, it looks like. Uh, some movement out here around the Mediterranean Sea, around the Greece area. Got a 5.0 that came in earlier today. And uh, some movement out here around uh, the Greece area as well with a 4.1. Uh, again, trimmer map tonight was not all that impressive, right? Uh, let me see if I can pull it up. In fact, zero epicenters of trimmer. Not a whole lot going on there in the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, checking out activity around Mount Hood Volcano. We'll go ahead and see if there's any... Um, specific uh, earthquake activity up here if not we will move on and that doesn't look like earthquake activity some some uh, looks like interference or who knows what let's see here top of Palmer lift if I remember right this one does tend to uh, create a little bit of interference yeah definitely uh, not earthquake activity Looks like maybe who knows what machinery activity up there. I don't know. But uh, no major earthquakes that I can see there or any type of swarming uh, being reported there around the region. Uh, Yellowstone National Park. Looks like a uh, little activity kicking up around the north or at least along the western section over here. It looks like some very small quake activity here. And this, this activity looks kind of, even from here, looks like it's... Uh, I can't say it's localized. It kind of looks like it's further away from this region. Uh, but there is a little activity kicking up here around Horse Butte area. And it looks like the Denny Creek. Uh, aside from that, no major swarms there to take note of in this area of the states. And, of course, space weather activity. Got a growing sunspot. Let's see what it's doing here. Um, let's see, it kind of looks like we're crackling with some flaring going on looking at the global D-layer absorption map. But the solar flare chart here does not look like it's uh, running. <clears throat> What's going on here? Solar ham down. A little bit of issues going on it looks like there. Uh, let's see if we can get maybe a different map here. 3038, this thing is getting huge. 
Um, it does have the potential possibly to uh, produce possibly an M flare. It has grown um, pretty much since last night. It's definitely been uh, getting much bigger. These other sunspots are kind of just uh, going off the uh, western limb, facing away from Earth now. But this one, 3038, does have potential. And it looks like it is crackling with some uh, sea flares. For whatever reason, I can't get this uh, solar flare detection chart up here. Let's bring this up here real quick. Not for sure what's going on. I'm going to close that one out and maybe open up here a new window. See what's going on. That one loaded up pretty quickly. Still having some issues though accessing this uh, the uh, detection map. So all right, um, and it looks like the space weather center, the space weather prediction center is having some issues too. So I know this is linked to the space weather prediction center when you click on it, but um, maybe maybe they're having some network issues going on. So uh, other than that, um, yeah, we just definitely got to watch. There we go, kind of took its time but uh yeah we're crackling here pretty good with some upper sea flares uh kind of looking like we're getting some elevated activity here and again there's that possibility of seeing uh, an m flare pop off from this uh this sunspot right here pretty cool looking looking at the uh probability details this site can't be reached okay there we go not for sure what's going on 3038 I think has a good possibility. These guys only have it set at a 10% chance uh, leaving 30-30 with the main culprit, but uh, I think this one here, we gotta watch that. That's the one that's kind of facing Earth and uh, could provide us with some uh, direct, uh, direct hit activity if it does produce a CME, but we'll watch it and see how it, uh, see how it plays out, folks. All right, going to cut it short tonight. Um, hope everyone has a good night. Yeah, I was trying to keep under 10 minutes, but we're doing about 12. So that's not too bad. All right, guys, stay safe out there. Activity definitely ramping up around the globe. And um, a lot of craziness going on in the world, let me tell you. I don't know if I'm dreaming these days or if I'm really awake. It's hard to tell sometimes. Some activity coming into the uh, Leah Permanent Station there in Hawaii couple small earthquakes there on the map or at least on the uh, chart there have a good night folks stay safe out there enjoy the rest of what's left of this weekend take care folks peace out